Welcome to SpecView Secrets, the video tutorial series that helps you use SpecView human machine interface software with Watlo products. In this installment, you will learn how to create a new configuration and automatically detect controllers. In this session, we use SpecView on a computer connected to an EasyZone RM controller via a USB to 485 converter. The converter has been installed as a serial port named COM9. The EasyZone RM controller is configured for standard bus communication and its zone number or address is set to 1. If you've used this SpecView installation before, then when you launch it, SpecView will automatically prepare to open the last configuration you worked with. But it pauses at the Configurations Found dialog for about 20 seconds to allow you to make another choice. Click Stop Countdown to give yourself some time to look at the options. On the left is a list of all the existing configurations. Many of these are samples that came with SpecView. Any configurations you have created also appear in the list. There are two ways to create a new configuration, manually and automatically. If you don't have controllers yet, then you can create a new configuration manually by clicking the New Manual Configuration button. See the Watlo addendum to the SpecView manual for detailed instructions on setting up controller communications manually. With the EasyZone RM controller connected to the computer and ready to communicate, we'll have SpecView automatically detect it and set up the configuration accordingly. Click Test Comms for New Config and input a name for the configuration. In the Ports and Protocols dialog, tell SpecView where and how to look for your controllers. Choose the driver for your controllers from the list next to the COM port to which the controllers are connected. For any EasyZone product, choose Watlow EasyZone Standard Bus near the bottom of the list and then click Start Scan. SpecView scans all the possible addresses and adds the appropriate instruments to support any controllers it finds. When it's done, it gives you the option to continue or cancel and rescan. If you had forgotten to turn on power to your controllers or connected them to another COM port, they would not be detected and you would click Cancel and try again. But since we were successful, click OK. Automatic detection has done two things. The most obvious is that SpecView added several instrument views to the graphical display window or GDW for short. The other thing that auto detection did for you was to add instruments to the variables list. Click the button with the red V to open the variables list and see the instruments. The spec view instrument is always there and auto detection has added seven more instruments supporting the easy zone RM. One for each of the two control loops, one for the digital I.O., one for function blocks, one for the limit, one for the control outputs and one zone instrument. Let's save the GDW and run the configuration. Click the Save button and then the Run button. Once SpecView establishes communication, the instrument views indicate values read from the controller. EasyZone instrument views include the name of the instrument. Many EasyZone instrument views also include fields that indicate parameter values and each includes at least one button. The zone instrument for the EasyZone RM indicates the state of alarms 1 to 8 and has buttons that allow the operator to silence and clear each alarm. The control loop instrument view looks like a panel mount single loop controller with process variable and set point displayed and a button that allows the operator to change the set point. The limit instrument view indicates the process variable value and the state of the limit. The digital I.O. instrument view indicates the state of each of the digital inputs and outputs. When the indicator is dark, the I.O. point is off. When the indicator is lit green, the I.O. point is on. Each EasyZone instrument view includes a button that opens the instrument's parameter list. Some are labeled Setup or Program, and some are labeled with a graphic showing an EasyZone panel mount controller's keypad. Click the button to open the parameter list. 
Some instrument views, like the outputs and function block instrument views here, have a parameter button and no other interactive features. Instrument views are just one of the many types of items you can use in spec view configurations to create useful and easy to use interfaces for operators. We hope you found this edition of SpecView Secrets helpful. We'll explore additional topics in other installments.